Collecting ants can be as simple as picking up stray ones and placing them in a glass jar, or as complicated as completing an exhaustive survey of all species present in an area and estimating their relative abundances. The exact method used will depend on the final purpose of the collections. For taxonomy or classification, long series, from a single nest, which contain all costs, workers, including majors and minors, and, if present, queens and males, are desirable, to allow the determination of variation within species. For ecological studies, the most important factor is collecting identifiable samples of as many of the different species present as possible. It had been years since the car had been driven. It sat in the driveway, slowly being taken over by rust and weeds. The windows were boarded up and the tires were long gone. But to a young boy, it was the most beautiful car he had ever seen. He dreamed of fixing it up and taking it for a spin. One day, he gathered some scrap metal and started working on the car. It took months of hard work, but eventually, the car was roadworthy again. The young boy took it for a spin around the block, feeling like the luckiest kid in the world. Even though it was just an old rust bucket, to him it was the most special car in the world. Many of us were told as children that we need to eat our vegetables to be healthy. And it turns out. Our parents were right. A diet rich in vegetables has been linked with a lower risk of developing many chronic diseases, including heart disease, stroke, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Vegetables are also an important source of vitamins and minerals, including potassium, dietary fiber, folate AB vitamin, and vitamins A and C. In addition, eating vegetables has been linked to better bone health dental health, and cognitive function. So make sure to include plenty of veggies in your next meal. By investigating similarities in animal fossils, different types of plants found in the southern hemisphere but not in the northern hemisphere, and patterns of rock formations, Researchers have managed to put the continents of modern-day Earth together like a huge jigsaw to make up the vanished supercontinent. Sometimes rock formations can be seen to break off at the ocean's edge, to carry on once more thousands of miles away on another continent. The evidence shows that not only were Africa and South America once joined to Antarctica, but so were India and Australia, parts of southwestern Europe, and Florida. If you're an advanced learner, you may find that most reading materials are either too easy or too difficult. However, there are a few resources that can provide you with the challenge you need to continue developing your language skills. One way to find appropriate texts is to look for articles from reliable news sources. These articles are typically well written and free from errors, making them ideal for advanced learners. Another option is to search for literary texts from classic authors. While these works can be more challenging, they offer a great opportunity to expand your vocabulary and learn about new grammar structures. The discovery that language can be a barrier to communication is quickly made by all who travel, study, govern or sell. Whether the activity is tourism, research, government, policing, business, or data dissemination. The lack of a common language can severely impede progress, or can halt it altogether. Common language, here usually means a foreign language, but the same point applies in principle to any encounter with unfamiliar dialects or styles within a single language. They don't talk the same language, has a major metaphorical meaning alongside its literal one. The biologists are in streamside counting towers, study sonar, watch from aeroplanes, and talk to fishermen. The salmon season in Alaska is not preset. The fishermen know die approximate time of year when they will be allowed to fish, but on any given day, 
one or more field biologists in a particular area, can put a halt to fishing. Even sport filing can be brought to a halt it is this management mechanism that has allowed Alaska salmon stocks and, accordingly, Alaska salmon fisheries to prosper. Even as salmon populations in the rest of the United States are increasingly considered threatened or even endangered. Even though we may know more about what parts of the brain are responsible for humor, it is still hard to explain why we don't laugh or giggle when we tickle ourselves. Darwin theorized within the expressions of the emotions in man and animals that there was a link between tickling and laughter because of the anticipation of pleasure, because we cannot tickle ourselves and have caused laughter. Darwin speculated surprise from another person touching a sensitive spot must have caused laughter. Some scientists believe that laughing caused by tickling is a built-in reflex even babies have. If we tickle ourselves in the same spot as our friend tickled us, we do not laugh as we did previously. The information sent to our spinal cord and brain should be exactly the same. Apparently, for tickling to work, the brain needs tension and surprise. When we tickle ourselves, we know exactly what will happen. There is no tension or surprise. Today, researchers often tape record informants. This enables the linguist's claims about the language to be checked and provides a way of making those claims more accurate. Difficult pieces of speech can be listened to repeatedly, but obtaining naturalistic, good quality data is never easy. People talk abnormally when they know they are being recorded, and sound quality can be poor. A variety of tape recording procedures have thus been devised to minimize the observer's paradox, how to observe the way people behave when they are not being observed. Some recordings are made without the speakers being aware of the fact a procedure that obtains very natural data, though ethical objections must be anticipated. Many factors must be considered when selecting informants whether one is working with single speakers a common situation when language has not been described before, two people interacting small groups or large-scale samples, age, sex, social background, and other aspects of identity are important, as these factors are known to influence the kind of language used. The topic of conversation and the characteristics of the social setting e.g. the level of formality are also highly relevant, as are the personal qualities of the informants e.g. their fluency and consistency. For large studies, scrupulous attention has been paid to the sampling theory employed, and in all cases, decisions have to be made about the best investigative techniques to use. Like, share, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.